It has come to our attention that a mysterious force is loose. The mysteries of creation are there. Up in the sky? Up in the sky. It's not an easy skill to learn. I've been practicing it for many years. Yup, in the words of DJ Khaled, we got another one. What is up everybody, it's your favorite ninja, Sets BK1 from Ninja Nation Gaming, once again back bringing you a super easy upgrade guide for the second, yes second and final upgrade for all four god hand gauntlets in the new zombies map, Ancient Evil. Now, for the sake of this video and time, I'm just going to walk you guys through the process for upgrading the gauntlets after you have already done the first upgrade. If you don't know how to do the first upgrade, then don't worry. Check out the easy guides I have for all four gauntlets stage one upgrades down in the description below. Now, for all you people who already know how to do stage one upgrades, please take note that in order to complete the second upgrade, you must have all four gauntlets upgraded in your game already. Plus, you want to work on completing challenges as you do them because once they are finished, the next step requires you to ignite the eternal blue flame. This is done by claiming two to six epic rewards from completing challenges, depending on how many players are in your game. So get those done. Once you have the blue flame, you need to melee the fire with the spear of your shield to get the blue flame on the tip of your spear. Then go over to the balcony of Apollo's temple and throw a spear over the top of this pillar to ignite the fire above it. Once you have done that, you can move on to the next step, which is getting kills by each shrine. First, you need to go to the shrine of Gaia and kill a fire zombie with Gaia's gauntlet inside the ritual circle by shooting with Gaia's gauntlet. You will see the soul go into the shrine and it now becomes a soul box. Kill 10 zombies within that circle until it stops collecting souls and you're finished with that step. To check if you've done this correctly, go down by Pack-A-Punch and look above it. The green symbol should be glowing. Now it's time to move on to the next shrine. Head to the center of the world right behind you and kill a water zombie by the shrine with the gauntlet for that shrine inside of the ritual circle just like before. Then proceed to kill 10 zombies until the symbol above Pack turns blue. Then head over to the shrine of Hemra and kill an electric zombie inside the ritual with the gauntlet of Hemra. Then proceed to fill the soul box until it's complete. Now move on to the final shrine down by Python Pass and kill a gas zombie next to the shrine of Charum with the gauntlet of Charum. Then like the other rituals, kill zombies in the circle to fill the soul box. Now just to recap, it's fire for Gaia, water for Aranus, electric for Hemra, and gas for Charum. Once you have done this process at all four shrines, you're now ready to move on to the next step. Head over to Pack-a-Punch and get ready for four separate trials. Walk up to Pack-a-Punch with your gauntlet out and hold the action button to open up a portal. First, you will enter the trial of Gaia, which is all catalyst zombies. Kill them all and a portal will open taking you back to Pack-a-Punch. The next trial will be Arenas. Walk up to Pack-a-Punch and do the same thing. Hold the action button to start the trial. This trial will be all skeleton zombies, which you must kill by headshot only and is a pain in the butt. Once you're finished, the portal will take you back to Pack, where you can start the next trial, which is Hemra. And this one, you're gonna be facing three of those big forearm bosses. Once you kill all three, the trial will be over and the portal will take you back to Pack-a-Punch. Now it's time for the final trial, which is Charum. In this trial, you'll be facing three Blight Fathers. Once you kill them, another portal will open, taking you right back to Pack-a-Punch. And now, the upgrade process is complete, and shortly after, you'll receive the trophy for building all the Primordial God weapons. Plus, now you can Pack-a-Punch each redeemed gauntlet in exchange for exalted gauntlets, which are a little bit more powerful and carry more ammo. And you're all finished, ready to unleash the exalted gauntlets on the hordes of zombies. Anyway, 
I hope this video does help you all out and you're enjoying the new awesome map, Ancient Evil. Make sure to turn that thumbs up button blue in honor of the Smurfs. And if you're new, hi, drop a like, drop a sub, click the bell, be my friend. I'm Seth BK1 from Ninja Nation Gaming and GG.